look at my big bundle of kitty joy. Oh, hi, guy. Oh, my little center of attention. Hey, guys. Uh, a couple things I was going to share today. Got um, something from Amazon Prime today that I'm really excited about. So I want to talk about water conservation and this neat little, cool little aerator thing. I'm going to demonstrate uh, the difference that this makes having this in an RV and also where you can get these and how they will much improve your life in an RV when water is limited. So I got this on uh, Amazon Prime. It was shipped in two days. It cost $10.90 and free shipping, obviously. And it's very light. It's made by Niagara. Um, I will put the link to the exact one that I bought in the description of this video if you'd like to just buy it there. I'm not making any money off of it, but these are great. I'm going to do a little demonstration test here, basically. So let me turn my water pump on. Let's go to my sink here. All right, so here's my kitchen sink. This is where I wash all of my dishes. This is also where I fill up my Brita filter from. Uh, basically the main source. The only thing I use in the bathroom is to brush my teeth. But um, the thing about this is, is it's really inefficient. It blows out a lot of water. Um, I don't even know what the per minute ratio, like how many gallons per minute this actually puts out, but you can tell when I turn it on, it's just full blast water. Um, you can adjust it. Just, I mean, you can do what you want and then kind of rinse stuff, rinse your hands and do stuff, but eh, it's just really weird. And I, I, I never really, the only time I ever want mass water flow is when I'm either filling up my coffee water container or my Brita filter. Otherwise, I would like as less water as possible over a more broad area so that I can rinse things and clean things. So that's why I got this. I had one in my other Tioga. These are dual threaded, so they have uh, male and female thread on there. I don't know what I need yet. I don't know what tools I'll need. But first, I want to do a test to see the difference in the water flow because this is 0.5 gallons per minute. That's it. 0.5 gallons per minute, which is incredibly not very much water so we're gonna see the difference but first let me do a test all right I got my uh, stopwatch app here ready to go because I want to time it and see how long it takes me to fill 10 cups into here uh, with the regular aerator that's already on there so let's find out full blast open jacks and right there okay Turn that off. Seven seconds and 52 100 seconds. So seven and a half seconds it took to fill that up. Now, let's see. I don't want to waste this, do I? No, I don't. Hang on. All right. Are you helping me, Jax? Because I don't feel like you're really helping much. Okay, it just comes right off. There's what you get. That That's what came on the RV. Weird. So this is going to be... Let me see here. Oh, it's going to be the other way. Okay, so there you go. See, this won't fit. The male threads won't fit, so I have to take this little gasket thing off, and I have to use the inner threads of this on the outside instead. After we get Jax's hair off of it. Are you... I know you think you're helping me, but... Um, I think that's not straight. Hang on. There we go. That's right. And I have wet fingers, so I can't screw it right. Let's just see if that works. That does work. Whoa, cool. What a difference. Okay. So there you go. Full blast turning this on, and you get a cat blocking your way. I guess that's just what you get. Can I help you? Can you get your cat butt out of my camera view, buddy? Yeah, well, I'm sure. Here, wait right here. I'll talk to you in a minute, okay? All right, so you can see the difference here. That's full blast, and that's what it does. Not a whole lot of water coming out. That's what I wanted, though. So seven and a half seconds to fill it up on the other one. Let's go full blast and see how long this takes to fill up. There's seven and a half seconds right there, and we've got two cups of water. <laughs> wow. We're at five cups at 27 seconds. Wow. You need to drink some of this water? 
There's eight cups at 43 seconds and 10. 49 seconds. What a difference. <laughs> Seven and a half, 49 and a half. That made a huge difference. Think of all that water that I'm not going to waste when I'm rinsing off dishes, when I'm cleaning, scrubbing, washing my hands. It's just going to be a lot less wasteful. And I really like, I should have gotten two of these actually. I should have gotten one for the bathroom too. Eventually what I might want to do is even get a low flow for the shower nozzle instead in there. I mean, it already has a switch, so I turn it off as much as possible so I'm not wasting water. Um, but it would be nice to control the flow of water in the bathroom shower as well. But uh, yeah, so I'll put a link to this guy right here. I strongly recommend everybody get one. The only thing is you're gonna have to wait 49 seconds to fill up your coffee water, but yeah. Now I still got a bunch of stuff I got to put away so that I can get on the road here because I got places to be and people to see and stuff. But I want to show you how I cleaned up the corner where all of these wires used to be. Just uh, one piece of flex tubing that runs all the way down. Even the Mertec meter uh, runs inside that and all the cords go down. Um, probably here pretty soon you're not going to be seeing this in my RV anymore. I'm getting tired of using this one. The fan is annoying. And I really don't see the point since I do have my 2000 water underneath. So what I'm going to do is run the extension cord up. And if you remember, I have this power strip right there, which gives me six outlets that run off the inverter. The only thing I'll need to do is grab the satellite receiver AC cord and get an extension cord to make it all the way down until so that's plugged in all the time. But Oh, and the TV. <laughs> TV is mounted in a different place. Remember in the van? What was that like seven or eight different places? So the TV is here instead of way up here. This is more of uh, my, my like line of view with my eyes where I can see it all the way around. And don't be surprised if that changes and moves over here like I had it before. Or before Christmas, I get a new 32-inch TV and have to you know build an entire enclosure for it or something. So we'll see. But uh, yeah. All right. I'll get back to you guys in a couple days. I'm really excited to get on the road. Have a good day. Hey guys, Jax here, along with his human servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our RV channel. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up below. Uh, don't forget to watch all of our other videos. We got some great material out there. Subscribe to our channel so you can get the latest updates here on the road. Can you say hi? Talk to you guys later.